Hey, what's up everyone, Game Dad here. Now, if you have been watching the channel for any period of time, you will know that uh, I am very techy. I love technology. I love figuring out new gadgets and getting new things, which by the way, behind the camera that you can't see right now, are some really fun new gadgets. Uh, so those will be in future videos. Now today we have a sponsored video thanks to the folks over at PTZ Optics. Now normally I would not do a like review video if it's also sponsored because I feel personally like that's a conflict of interest. But today is just gonna be an unboxing and then we're gonna take care of actually using and reviewing this product and I'll have another video down the line. But what was sent to me, oh, was this giant guy from PTZ Optics. Now, this thing right here, as you can see, is the Move 4K PTZ camera. Now, what the heck is a Move 4K PTZ camera? Uh, well, PTZ stands for Pan Tilt Zoom, um, and what's cool about this one is it's a 4K camera. I mean, 4K cameras are awesome, but no, that's not really what's cool about it. What's cool is all of the different connections that uh, this can do. Now, PTC Optics, they deal with a lot of higher end camera gear, and they also deal with a lot of broadcast gear. Now, this one in particular, where did it go? I know it was on here. This is compatible with SCI, cool. Compatible with HDMI, all right, cool. Compatible with USB, also neat. Also compatible with NDI HX3. Now, what that means is you can power this thing off of PoE over a network cable. Now, why is that handy, might you ask? Uh, because you can essentially set up an unlimited number of these to have a crazy like broadcast setup, or in my case, I am expanding the number of cameras that I have for whenever I have really big unboxings or similar things, like the aforementioned stuff that's behind the camera right now. It's a big box and I think it's like 120 pounds or something, it's a big box. And it's got five other boxes to go with it and even more boxes are arriving. So that's gonna be big, it's gonna take up a huge table and I'm gonna need a camera that can look at all of that that's happening. So that's where this guy hopefully is gonna come in handy. Um, now what we're gonna do is get this unboxed, I'm gonna show you everything that comes in it and then my next few unboxing videos are going to Hopefully, as long as I can get everything working right, uh, it's gonna showcase what this camera can do and it'll help me develop my actual opinions and thoughts about this camera and its whole setup process and using it, capturing video, all that kind of good stuff. And then I'll be able to do an actual review of this product. And they actually have a bunch more products that they are interested in having me check out. So we'll see how it goes, but we're gonna dive in and open this up. Let's go ahead and switch to the top down view now. So here we go, Move 4K PTZ Optics. Let's open this box up. I've had this box for several days now and I have been wanting to open this, but I needed to record it. Ooh, there you go, a nice little uh, thing for welcome to your camera. Get started for latest firmware and features. Now I will say the packaging feels very robust. It's not like a super cheap, thin cardboard. It's actually like really thick and durable. That's nice. That means I could probably double this as a kind of travel case for it. So we'll take that out, get rid of that packaging. And what do we got in here? We got a box. We'll look at everything that's in there in a moment. And we have the camera itself. So let's take that out and get this big old box out of the way, shall we? Now, we're gonna leave that covered and we're gonna check out the box first. Leave everyone in suspense, shall we? So we're gonna open this up, and what do we got in here? Um, something about a quick start guide for Huddle Cam HD, okay. Um, a bag with what looks like some sort of washer in it. Mmm, forbidden candy. No, do not eat. Uh, PTZ Optic stickers. Ooh, I'm gonna have to talk to them. I, uh, I could probably do some stickers for them. Let's see here. And then we get some cards, professional control for everyone. They do all kinds of optic stuff. General quick start guide and resource locations. Dang, what do we got? What is all this stuff? Hey, what the heck? It comes with like a regular webcam too. What? What is it? Oh, Huddle Cam HD. So the camera comes with a camera? Well, I mean, that's cool. But let's see here. We have a remote. Uh, looks like a bog standard remote with some custom uh, skin on it. They do give you batteries, so that's very cool. What else is in here? What are you? Um, oh, 
that a S video? Oh, okay, that must be for the SDI connection right there. Okay, what else we got? Oh, oh, it's bags within bag. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Okay, oh, okay, so this is the power and this is gonna be all of the adapters. Yep, all right, so I'm pretty sure this is UK. I, I don't know what that is. And I don't know what that is. Other countries, I'm sorry. But uh, here, we'll do this one. How do we do this? Just slide it on? Oh, um, you'd think. Oh, I see. There's a there's a notch. I just have to pay attention. There we go. So there's the adapter. How much power does this thing suck? Um, 12 volt, 2 amp. Not bad. Let's see here. And a big old USB-A cable. Okay, so I'm going to kind of keep all this stuff together so I don't lose any of it. I, I still can't get over that it's a camera that comes with a camera. That's, that's interesting. I'm sure the documentation will explain it further. Look at that, I repacked it perfectly. We're gonna get this out of the way so we can look at the actual camera itself. Here we go. Aww. Ooh, fancy. I'm guessing this is the lens cover. Ooh, it's silicone, nice. Ooh, look at that. Okay, nice, so there's your full movement. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or if it'll mess it up, but you get movement here as well. And then I don't know what the focal length is, but obviously it has one because it's pan, tilt, and zoom. Uh, let's go ahead and put the cover back on so I don't mess anything up. There's a hair on it. All right, and then looking on the back right here. So I'm not gonna know what a lot of this is because I've never dealt with actual broadcast hardware. But, okay, there's the SDI, USB, Okay, there's your power, obviously line in and out for audio. Uh, I don't know what system select does. Here's an RS-485, whatever that means. Uh, 232 in and out, okay. That's what that one uh, cable will attach to. And yeah, I mean HDMI and your NDI on there to network this bad boy. But, oh, oh, and we have another peel. Let's see if this one is successful. Here we go. Ooh. I will say, this thing is sleek looking, man. Wow. This is gonna be fancy because this one is also a 30 times zoom camera. And when I was talking to the rep about this camera, what was really cool is he was saying, yeah, it's got a 30 times zoom, but you can have this thing. He said he has one like in his own setup that's only about a foot and a half away from him and he's still able to effectively use it. So. That's cool. That means I have pretty much unlimited range for the uses that I will be using. But yeah, I mean, there it is, everyone. That is the uh, the PTZ uh, Move 4K, and it's pretty. Uh, I, I I like it. I can't wait to actually start using this, and hopefully, it's really intuitive to figure out. Uh, we will find out as we go. But I do plan on recording some other videos with this, that way I can get a feel for it and see how to capture footage, things like that. Uh, the rep told me that it's actually really straightforward if you wanted to do things like OBS or something like that, um, or some other kind of broadcast software, you can run it on your network, it'll find it no problem, you can have it as a video source, so that's awesome. Streamers, I mean, you can definitely use that. Um, then HDMI, you can run it straight into a capture card. Uh, I guess PT, or doing the um, the NDI is kind of the way to like really go with it because then you only need one cable, just a, a PoE network cable going into it, and then OBS can find it. Uh, whereas with HDMI, then you have to use a capture card. Um, I don't have anything that can use these other connections, so I'm not going to use those. But this is cool, and I'm excited. I have never gotten camera tech this advanced uh, to be able to check out. And apparently, like I said, they have some more stuff that they want me to be able to check out and I cannot wait. So yeah, that is an unboxing video. If you've never done one before, there you go. Hope it was good. Um, but this is the PZ Optics Move 4K 30X. They also have a 20X. Um, but I told them I wanted one with bigger zoom because I mean, why not? Bigger numbers are better, right? Um, yeah, I'm excited to use this. If you like this video, then go ahead and check out this area or right here for another video. It might be related to unboxings, it might not. It depends on what I choose when I edit this and post it. Um, but until then, thank y'all for watching. I'm Game Dad, and I'll catch y'all later.